if we are performing religious activities, but at the same time we are too much attached to bad association, it is counterproductive. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur told a little story of a father who was a landlord and he was addicted to smoking cigarettes and taking intoxications. He had one son and like father, like son. The, the child is naturally influenced by the activities of the father. So from a young age, he started smoking cigarettes and taking intoxications. It's natural. If a parent is chanting the names of God and worshiping the deity and associating with devotees, then naturally the child will want to chant the names of God, worship the deities, and associate with devotees. What a responsibility a parent has. So this child just began to do all of his father's activities, and after some time, he got very sick with disease, something like tuberculosis, and he was dying, and his father was frantic. I have to save my son. Look at what has happened. And he went, and he got a doctor, and the doctor told the father and the son that he should drink plenty of milk, and he should give up smoking completely, and he should give up taking intoxications completely. And the son, he was thinking, oh, this taking of milk is very nice. I will drink lots and lots and lots of milk. This giving up smoking is very hard, so I will continue. I'll do both. And this, they told the doctor, I'm going to do both. I can't stop smoking, but I'm going to take so much milk. And the doctor said, then you will die. The milk will have not the proper effect of curing you unless you give up smoking. So Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada explains, this is like a person who chants the holy names. Sometimes day and night he might be going to Harikatha, different pravachans, hearing the glories of the Lord. But as long as he's attached to unholy association, materialistic people's association, and as long as he's attached to doing those materialistic things that bring sense enjoyment, he makes very little or no progress at all. So we must understand the urgency. Padam, padam, yadvi, padam, nateisham. Why should we maintain and cultivate attachments to those things which are going to bring about misery? Yehi samsparashicha bhoga dhukha jo naye evate atyanta vanta konte anate shuramate buddha. The objects of the senses are sources of misery, especially sinful activities, illicit sex, intoxication, gambling, meat eating. So we must take our spiritual lives very seriously. Krishna has spoken in the scripture, the sadhus, the acharyas, they are speaking, and material nature herself all around us is warning. You have only one hope. Death can come at any minute. And in this age of Kali Yuga, that hope is so simple and so wonderful to receive just by associating with the Lord's devotees and chanting his names with the aspiration for unmotivated devotion. Do not do business with God. Become his servant. Serve him to please him by being the servant of the servant of the servant. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.